Hey everyone, so I was asked to make a curtain for a friend's kitchen door window and so I thought this would be the perfect time to do another curtain tutorial. And I've done one for the tab top curtains, so if you want to see that tutorial, there will be a link on the screen here. Um, but if you want to know how to make a casing top curtain like this one, then go ahead and keep watching this tutorial. The supplies you need are fabric, thread, cutting tools, a marking tool, pens, measuring tools, an iron and ironing surface, and a sewing machine. The window I'm making a curtain for measures 20 by 39 and a half inches. We decided to add 8 inches for gathers and ease. For the seam allowance, I want a double fold hem on each side, 2 inches at the top for the casing, and 4 at the bottom for the hem. This means I need to cut the fabric to 30 by 45 and a half inches. Once you get the final measurements, cut your fabric to that size. Zigzag or serge the edges without cutting any fabric to prevent fraying. Start by hemming the sides. I allowed enough for a half inch double fold hem on each side. Turn under half an inch, pen, iron, then turn another half inch, iron and sew. For the top casing, turn under half an inch, iron, then turn one and a half inches, iron and sew. For the bottom, you want a heavier hem, so turn under one inch, then measure the curtain top to bottom to double check the measurements, then turn up the extra amount. You will have a gap on each side of the bottom hem. Stitch right along the original side hemline to sew the gap closed. Then you have a perfect curtain. All the edges are nicely turned under and it will last a really long time. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and you can make casing top curtains for any kind of window or door. Um, they work really great with like tension rods. I even made one for our shower because um, there's a window in our shower. And so I used some pleather and just sewed a casing along the top. I didn't hem the sides or anything. And we hung it in the window so that it will be waterproof, but it will have more privacy and also keep out the cold because in the winter, our shower was really, really cold because of the window. So uh, this tutorial has a lot of uses and so I hope you enjoyed it and I will see everyone later. Bye.